Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is David Prita, and today we'll be talking about GWeb development software. GWeb development software is a programming environment that you can use to build web applications for your test and measurement applications without the need for traditional web development skills. So if you're looking to remotely access your test system, share test information with a colleagues, or access your test machine on another device, a web application built with GWeb development software can help. At NI, we believe in the power of graphical programming and now you can use it to build powerful web applications to access your test systems. This transforms web development from complex coding in HTML, CSS, or JavaScript to a simple drag and drop process. And with a web application, you're able to access your test machine on any device that can run a web browser. This eliminates the need for software installation. So I can access my test system on my phone, on a tablet, or another machine. And with GWeb development software, it includes a cloud hosting option, System Link Cloud, where I can remotely host and access my test system. Or for additional flexibility, you're able to host it on premises to meet your company's IT requirements. But before we dive into a demo, I want to go into the architecture of a web application. And for this, there are four main components. First, you have your test system. This is something that you already have. It's doing the data acquisition, data logging, and complex analysis of your application. And for the most part, this won't change. But now we have our second part. This is the data communications layer. This spans the entire architecture of our web application. And it's doing the data communication and data transfer. Next, we have our hosting. This is where you'll be hosting your web application as well as the data communications layer. You can do this on the same machine as your test system, on a separate server, or using System Link Cloud. And lastly, we have our web application. This is programmed in GWeb development software and what I'll be showing you right now. So let's dive into a demo. And here we can see GWeb development software. Let's go ahead and start up a new project. And here we can see our traditional front panel and block diagram that you might be used to or familiar with from LabVIEW. The front panel is a front end user interface. This is what you'll see in the web browser. And here we can see our functional palettes. We have charts, buttons, displays, et cetera. For this application, we're going to be doing a random number generator. So I want to go ahead and add in a chart. Additionally, I want to add in a little bit of control. So let's go ahead and add in a horizontal slider. I want to know what this application is. So let's go ahead and name this a random number generator, because that's what it is. Now, let's go ahead and check out our block diagram. This is the functional back end of our application. And here, we see that it already has a while loop set up. This ensures that our program runs continuously. We wouldn't want it to stop for whatever reason. We see it refreshes at a rate of 50 milliseconds. I'm going to change this to every half second. And here, we can also see our functional palettes. Everything that we did on the front end is placed into an unplaced items tray for easy convenience. So I added in our chart. And we're going to go ahead and add in our slider. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and add in the random number. And we want to be multiplying the random number that we generated by a slider. So I'm going to go ahead and wire that up. And it's done. Now I can tell it to run in a browser. It's going to prompt me to save. I'm going to again title this random number generator. hit save, and then it's going to open up a web browser. Now I can use the slider to change, and we can see it scale. Now, this was a pretty simple web application, but probably took no more than 90 seconds to complete. I didn't need to know any coding or anything. All I did was use my LabVIEW skills. And honestly, it was drag and drop, which is really powerful and really fast. If you asked me to do this in any other way, I probably wouldn't know how. Now, this was a pretty simple web application and probably something that you may not do. So let's go ahead and check out our test system, a more comprehensive example. Here at, on campus, I already have set up a web application for a temperature monitoring application. I already have it set up on System Link Cloud, so I'm able to access it from right here. In the studio, I don't have anything with me. So let's go to System Link Cloud. 
Let's go to visualizations because that's where our web applications are. It's going to prompt me to log in. I'm going to go to web VIs. And then I can already see that I have a few web applications set up. So let's go ahead and click on the one for our test system. It's going to prompt me to log in one more time. And here we can see our remote temperature monitoring application. On the bottom, we can see a chart displaying the current temperature, as well as a high limit and a low limit. And it's also displayed in indicators. And I can see a status. What's great about this application is that I can also use remote control features. So um, we currently see that it's set up with a current high and low limit. I'm able to send temperature limits using uh, these sliders right here. So let's go ahead and send new limits. And we can see it adjust as well, which is really cool. And as I mentioned, I'm able to do this on my phone. So let me give me a second to log into my phone. And here I can see the application one more time. And what's really great is that this application is flexible and adjusts to my screen size. So here, I'm also able to send high and low temperature limits. And once I hit send, we'll see it adjust one more time. And again, everything's adjusted to my screen size, so it fits comfortably, and I don't have to do any weird scrolling or weird visuals, which is really cool and convenient. And that's UWeb Development Software. Now, thank you all for joining us. If you're looking to get started, go ahead and download a free trial. If you're looking to learn more, visit ni.com. Or for sales assistance, feel free to reach out and contact your NI representative. Thanks.